press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello friends, I am Dr. Somendra Shukla, Professor ABS Engineering College, Ghaziabad. Today we are going to study A to D converters or analog to digital converters, specifically RAM type A to D converters. As there are so many other type of A to D converters available like integrating type A to D converters, dual slope type A to D converters and so many others. So the today's topic is ramp type A to D converter. Hello friends, uh, so the topic of the discussion today is analog to digital converter and specifically ramp type analog to digital converter. What is analog to digital converter? Analog to digital converter is a circuit which converts analog signal into digital signal and why it is called as ramp type analog to digital converter. It is called as ramp type analog to digital converter because it uses a ramp generator in its uh, circuit. That's why it is called as ramp type analog to digital converter. What are the main building blocks of uh, this type of analog to digital converter? The main building blocks are shown here in the figure and written in this list. Uh, number one is comparator, most important part and counter, ramp generator, control logic, latches, digital readout, uh, which is basically a, a digital display unit. And uh, the brain of this uh, uh, A2D converter is control logic, which controls, uh, you know, a lot of things like counter, uh, latches and ramp generator. And this compare, uh, comparator compares the two waveform. One waveform, which is, uh, or, or one uh, analog signal, which is coming from uh, uh, the source, which is being uh, uh, converted to the digital uh, signal. And second one, which is coming from the ramp generator. As long as uh, the positive uh, terminal's input is higher than the negative terminal's input, it uh, gives a high output that means it gives one as output and when uh, the negative terminals input becomes higher than this analog input which is uh, to be converted then it will give a low output or zero output now initially what happens when uh, you uh, give analog input signal the negative terminals input is zero and uh, um, comparator compares both of these uh, signals one is analog signal and second one is negative terminals input and as there is only one input which is analog input uh, uh, which is to be uh, converted then uh, the uh, comparator gives you a high output because this input is higher than this input this high output is given to this AND gate and the second input of the AND gate is a clock pulse and when one input is one and second input is uh, clock pulse so as long as this one is here uh, the clock pulse is passed as it is uh, from this AND gate and the counter starts counting uh, as uh, soon as the uh, clock pulse starts coming and when this information uh, uh, came to this control logic control logic did uh, three functions it cleared uh, the counter it enabled the latches and it, it uh, uh, has resetted the uh, ramp generator what ramp generator does is ramp generator uh, uh, gives you a waveform which is continuously increasing with time and it increases linearly so initially it is, it is zero but as the time passes it uh, keeps on increasing and when uh, this input uh, to this negative terminal which is coming from this ramp generator becomes equal to the analog input and as soon as it increases this value that, that means as soon as it uh, surpasses the value of the analog input that means uh, the input coming towards this negative terminal is higher than the analog input then the comparator output becomes zero and when the comparator output becomes zero and it is being given to this AND gate, uh, so uh, as soon as this comparator output becomes zero, the uh, uh, cl these clock pulses which were being uh, fed back to the counters, uh, this output is now zero when uh, there is one input which is zero towards the AND gate. And a counter uh, stops the counting and the final count is uh, given to the latches which are nothing but uh, a memory unit and these, uh, uh, this count is uh, stored here and it is uh, digitally processed and uh, then uh, finally it is given to a uh, digital display unit which will uh, give you the digital readout. Now the question is how this uh, uh, whole process converts the analog input signal into digital signal. Just try to understand for example this analog input signal is uh, for example 5 volts and initially here uh, the, uh, the input is 5 volts and here it is 0. So the high output is here and uh, the clock pulses uh, are uh, being passed to the counter and counter starts counting these number of pulses 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like this. 
and uh, as soon as we have given this analog input uh, to this terminal uh, this control uh, logic uh, has started this ramp generator uh, to work and ramp generator uh, started uh, uh, giving uh, a voltage which is uh, you know linear and uh, in nature and uh, it was uh, increasing with time so after some time uh, from zero this voltage uh, reaches up to 5 volt and as soon as this voltage increases its value from 5 volt to a, a bit uh, more than 5 volts that means the input coming to uh, this negative terminal becomes higher and when it becomes higher uh, this comparator will give you a zero and uh, in the AND gate if you give a zero one input is zero that means output will always be a zero and uh, that means no clock pulse is uh, now given to a uh, counter and uh, the counting stops now so uh, the, the uh, counter count is basically in proportion to the analog input how let us try to understand with a second example that for example in this case where we have taken a 5 volt as analog input the counter has counted 100 pulses past <clears throat> now in the second case if we take 10 volt as uh, analog input uh, what will happen then that uh, the same process uh, you know uh, will uh, uh, continue but this ramp generator will take double the time from the previous case to reach uh, to this value because initially it was 5 volt so it will take say this time and when it is 10 volt so uh, this uh, ram generator will take the double of the time from the previous case and this double of the time this uh, comparator will give you a uh, one output that means double the time and the counter uh, will get uh, the clock pulses that means in this case in place of this 100 pulses 200 pulses will be there uh, for the counter to be counted that means the number of pulses counted here are clearly they are in proportion to the input if the input is low the number of pulses counted are low if the input is high the number of uh, uh, pulses counted uh, are high and they are in proportion to the input and uh, the system is calibrated on number of pulses and input given uh, by uh, giving uh, known inputs and once the system is calibrated it will give you the output in the manner so that you can uh, use it or uh, you can understand it in this way uh, this uh, ramp type and log to digital converter converts analog signal into digital signal so friends i hope uh, you must have enjoyed the video and you must have learnt about uh, ramp type a to d converter the main application areas of uh, ramp type a to d converters are uh, signal processing in telecommunications in making uh, digital voltmeters digital multimeters and so many other domains i hope you have enjoyed the video for more content like this please subscribe to our channel and share these videos thank you very much